What is up everybody, Amir and welcome back to another episode on the Boston 2 server. We are back in the port from Domport and today we're going to be working on the storage building behind me as we did in the last episode. But first of all, there's something inside left there for me and I think we'll take a look at it first and I'll tell you the story behind it afterwards. So there's a chest over here with a netherite ingot in it which says payment from Rascal. Well, this is actually for me. Because in one of his videos, Rascal built a library and let's put the chest in here. And I said he should use looms mixed in with the bookshelves and we made a bat that I said he, it was gonna blow his mind and I won the bat so he got an extra netherite ingot. Let's pop it into the safety of our valuables box. There we go. And now we can actually work on this building. That's what I want to do first in this episode. Somebody who... Somebody just messed up a trapdoor over there. Can we... There we go. Don't do that. Could actually have been me while I was building it. Anyway, we're gonna move on to this side over here and this side is gonna be the side entrance to the building. So this will also have an entrance to the to the storage system and this ends up in like the bulk storage area over here. So we need to prep this, build this up and I'll show you the result afterwards again like we did. I'm getting stuck on all sorts of stuff. So, we're gonna do a progress update for this one as well. I wanna keep the, the storage building progress updates so I can use other time lapses in my video, which you might see today as well. I don't know yet, I'm still starting to build this. Anyway, I got a building to finish. I think that was quite the nice cut to the finished building. And we are here on top of a wall that's in construction for a building over here. I think this is gonna be the bank, like a big, big bank. And uh, we can get a nice view of what we've done. It's becoming nighttime, so um, let, let's hop in a bed first and then we'll take a proper look at the, the site that we've built. I think it's nothing too special, it's just a continuation of the style that we had before. But again, this is, this is the side entrance to the building, so I wanted to make it at least a little bit as grand as the one on, oh, as the, the main entrance over there. So again, I put in the banners of our house over here, which match nice with ones on the other side. And I think they're in quite the good places. And I'm overall quite happy with how this turned out. It's a nice side entrance to the building and we can go around even more next time. But for now, we are going to fly away to a far, far location. Just getting it's right here. We build a house over here. This, this this monstrosity over here, it's even labeled with my name. Perfect. And I think we left it a little bit unfinished on the outside. What I mean by that is there's a, a gaping hole over here. And then it goes down into nothing. And all around the building, it's not finished. It's not linked up with the rest of the city. So I want, I want to build some pathways and in some greenery and that will get well just, that will just clear my head of the construction of all the houses that we've done because we've only and i mean this seriously we've only been building houses and i miss doing organics and so organics is one of my favorite things to do in minecraft so we're gonna transform this whole area into a nice little oasis what i'm picturing i'm gonna explain it to you is a big custom tree over here with a pathway going alongside this building linking up with that pathway another big tree over here with a swing and then we'll connect this pathway you extend it up on that slope there's some pathways over there connect to the front of the house and then if you go around the building we can link it up with that pathway which will continue around the building over here then we'll add in some bushes maybe some smaller trees and I think the best way to do that is in the form of a time lapse. So sit back, relax, enjoy the music, and I've got some building to do.
And now this area is finished. You didn't see it in the time lapse, but I finished it off with some grass and some purple flowers. These are absolutely my favorite flowers in the texture pack. And I think it turned out great. So let's take a walk in the first person mode because it gives a different view than the, the camera up above. We got our swing over here. I love this view of like the branch sticking out. I do like that. The only thing I, I don't really think I should have done in this area Actually, let, let's just um, put uh, some more bone meal in here. I think that that will make it better. Also, great tip. Don't don't leave flowers and don't leave all the grass. Yeah, that's that's fine. Don't don't overdo the grass. Just punch out a bunch because the normal algorithm will give you way too much grass and way too much flower. It's way better to put in the flowers yourself and punch off some of the grass. So, as I was saying, the only thing I don't like is how tall this tree is and how not. I should have made this wider, but I didn't have enough leaves and I didn't want to gather more. And I think it turned out great as it is. And I, yeah, I, I think it's fine for as it is, but I could have been better. That's what I'm trying to say. So, we got our swing over here. We can swing up back and forth. I love all of these areas. I like doing those as well. And I think this turned out really, really good. And from this good build to another, let's head over to Domport TV. I'm gonna put in my reporter skin this time, and we'll meet with Morgan. He's gonna show us around some of his buildings. So I started off building houses. Um, eventually, uh, Jim Way popped on and said that the area around the Coliseum mm -hmm. would probably have taverns and that kind of stuff in it. Yeah. Because of people visiting the Coliseum. So what I did was I decided to build a nice nice small small tavern small tavern yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so this guy here is um i, I got the the basis for the building from uh, another youtuber uh, by duncan red mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. so i got his kind of idea for the building and then i took all the bits and pieces that he was showing off and i rearranged everything changed the roof lines with a couple other things yeah um yeah, it looks look nice. This. It looks nice. I heard you had some smack. You had to take some smack for the roof because it's pink. It's pink. Yeah, yeah. Um, this one wasn't the one that got me my letter. Uh, there's another house over <laughs> that way that uh, has a uh, blue roof. Mm -hmm. And that one got my got me a letter from from the HOA. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so while I was building this one, I came up with the idea for my noble house which is House Thormain. Um, mm -hmm. That's actually based on a, a house from my books. Um, I'm a self-published author. So. Oh, that's nice. I didn't know that. So I have two books out there. Um, Thormain is the house from one of the main characters. Um, so 
I decided along the way that I wanted to do a chain motif because I'd already decided to do the chain for my marker. So I came up with yeah, the, yeah. the chain flag. Yeah. Um, so this inn is owned by House Thorming, uh, kind of one of the ways they they make a little money in the city um, mm -hmm. outside of you know, various different trading opportunities. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it's the, the tap room here is the largest of the rooms. It's fills this entire section of the building there's some oh that's a nice roof oh that's cool in some rentable rooms back this way it's just little tiny rooms here and then eventually the innkeeper will have a residence over there but it, there's nothing there. Be beautiful so, interior yeah 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 <laughs> um but there's quite a few rooms um, a lot of the rooms have balconies that can overlook the river um uh, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one probably got the best view. Where did you go? This place? Is it <laughs> um, oh, there you are. Yeah, all the rooms look alike, too. So there's yeah. But, um, so this one overlooks the river, which um, the river walk there was something I came up with, and we kind of just decided to run with it. We've yeah, and then I Jimmy copied it. Yeah. Yep, and Callus, too. So and Callus as well, wow. Other, <laughs> uh, his other, the other side of the river over that way, mm -hmm. he kept the river walk going over there. Um, it's just a nice, oh, simple yeah. little layout. Uh, so this is this is Rose Bridge. You can see I planted the roses up here. Mm -hmm. This is also nice, nice. maintained by House Thorme, and that's why this bridge um, over the river looks different than all the other bridges that cross off of Spawn Island. Um, so all the other bridges were, I think, based on the original design, which I think was Warlock Robbie. Yeah. But, uh, I think Callus or Old Grey Man built that one. And then there's a few others that come off Spawn Island that look up really similar. But this one, it's got a wood plank and... Yeah, just to be different. different. Just to be different. Yep. This small little, this little, small little place here. This is my... Uh... <laughs> small little place. This is the Noble House. Yes, you saw that correctly. The tour with Morg around his buildings is not finished, but there was so much more that I could put it in another segment next video. So that's what we're gonna do, so you have to wait till next time to see that. And of course, we're gonna end off today's episode on the swing that we built just a second ago. So if you like this video and want to see more like that, hit that like button, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll see all you've got... All, I'm stumbling over my words. Let's try that again, shall we? I'll see all of you guys. There we go. Was that so hard? I'll see all of you guys next week with another video. Bye, guys. Bye.